One of the things that's really important to me is that you understand how easy it is to build websites in Dreamweaver 8. One of the most daunting tasks is learning the interface. So the first thing we're going to do is build a very simple web page just to get over the fear of the different interface elements before we have to roll up our sleeves and look at them at a much closer level. So when you launch Dreamweaver for the first time, you're probably going to see uh, either this screen or the screen right before it, which says, what type of a layout would you like to use? Either a coder layout or a designer layout. I use a designer layout because that's what I am by trade. Now, in this window that you see brought up, you're going to see some of the basic uh, elements. Open a recent item, create new uh, templated items or, or uh, sample items, and then you have pre-built samples here that we can pick from. I'm going to go ahead and choose HTML for my create new. And this is going to bring up the document window. Now, in this window, you're going to see a couple of things that are uniquely um, tied to this document. One, which is the title. Now, the title is, let me pull up a page here that's completed. Okay, so this is the graphic that, or the web page that we're going to be building. You can see here where it says gloss coming soon. That is the title. Okay, so we'll go up here and we'll put that in. And Gloss by Rockwell is just a fictitious glass company uh, little demo website that we're putting together just so you have an idea of how uh, to put together a website for a client. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save my document. So I'm just choosing a Save As. And at this point, it is very important that I label or name this file correctly. Because this is the first page in my website, Okay, I want this to be labeled index, I-N-D-E-X. Now what's unique about the word index is on the server when you go to uh, like say digitaltutors.com the server is going to find the first page that says index and, they, and obviously there can only be one page uh, labeled index so it's going to find that and then serve it to the user so this is a very important page a lot of uh, my students say you know hey I made my website but I can't pull it up first thing I always check for is do they have an index page alright we'll hit save and there we go now there's a couple of little panels tucked away here okay these little panels are uh, customizable and I'll show you how to do that here in just a little while so you can access your files CSS all these different attributes from here down here are the property attributes so how you adjust your properties are down here now there is a shortcut to hiding all of these panels. This right here is called your insert panel. Okay, To hide them hit F4 on your keyboard and it will tuck them all away. We're going to be doing this quite a bit because we're going to need the space to work and so I can show you the whole page at certain times. Alright now that I have this file uh, saved let's take a look at adding some elements. All right, I have actually uh, in your data files folder, there's a completed folder. This folder houses all of the files for the website that we're going to build here in just a second. All right, and there's a lesson folder, lesson files. So it says first website project. We'll go ahead and open that. And there's a couple of graphics here that we're going to bring in. Now, you'll notice something unique. When I drag and drop a graphic, it's going to bring up this window. Now, if you're not building a website that's going to be used uh, by somebody who may need an accessible screen reader then you can turn this window off. I'm going to actually use these settings just because it's a good habit to get into. So this is the gloss logo. There we go. And I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to drag and drop the main image right here. So that's going to be the main image. There we go. And as you can see, they're stacked wrong, so I'm going to just drag and drop this top image down. And it's very user-friendly. You can pick things up, move things around. All right. At this point, I'd like to see these centered. And you can do this two different ways. You can either use a um, property here. So right here, it says Align Center. So I have my graphics selected. I click that once, and you can see it centered right over. Okay, I can also type it in. I could use code to type it in. And the code is align equals quotes center quotes. 
So an easy way to do this is I'll select this image, and then I'll hit code up here. And now that switches me to my code view. Okay, and right here where it says P, right there, I'm going to modify that HTML tag. Okay, that's called an HTML tag. I'm going to modify that. So what I'll do is I'll come up here and watch what happens. The minute I hit space, it figures out, oh, maybe you want to add some code. So I can hit A for a line. And you notice it automatically highlighted it. Now I can do one of two things. I can double click that, okay, or I could have just hit enter. Align, how do I want to align it? Center. There you go. Now watch, when I go back to my design view, it's centered as well. All right, let's now go ahead and add a little bit of text. So I'll hit enter, and we'll say for more. We'll just say contact sales. In sales, we're going to make an email link. All right. I don't really like this font, this default font. So let's work with that first. I've got all my text highlighted. I'm going to open up my properties panel here. And let's change our default font to Arial. Okay, a little bit nicer. We'll bold it. Okay, and I'm going to change this to a light gray. And you'll see why here in just a second. All right. Now I want to take my, my uh, sales here and turn that into an email link. Well, right up here at the top is my insert panel, and it should say common. If it doesn't, drop that down and choose common. And the second option right here is an email link. It looks like a little envelope. We'll activate that, and we'll go in here and we'll just say sales at DT. Okay, and that's just a fictitious website. So we'll just hit OK. And at this point, it made it blue. So the next step that we're going to do is adjust all of our link colors as well as adjust the background color. So we'll go over here to Page Properties. Okay. Now, if you have something selected, you can't go to your Page Properties. Okay. If you have nothing selected, you can go to your Page Properties. You can also go up here to Modify Page Properties, whichever is easier for you. All right. With my page property selected, I'm going to go to this background color. We'll drop this down, and we're going to choose black. Hit apply, and you can see our page got updated. I'm also going to go to links, and where it says links color, I'm going to choose uh, one of these oranges over here, and we'll hit apply. And you can see that now has been updated to orange. We'll say OK. And believe it or not, You've built your first website or your first web page. Let's preview this. We'll hit the little world icon right here, and we'll preview it in Internet Explorer. And we'll say, yes, let's save. And there we go. Here is our simple one-page website that we've built. Now, this is not live on the Internet. We're going to do that next. We're going to set up our site and get connected to the Internet and show you how that whole process works. But as far as building a very simple web page, here you go. That's, it's that easy to do. Now let's get into some of the more intricate elements of Dreamweaver.